Hey everybody, welcome to another edition of my full walking resort and room tours. Today we are at the last moderate on our list, the Disney's Caribbean Beach Resort. I like to start at the main check-in area and then go around and I will show you each section by section of what all of them have to offer. We stayed in the Trinidad section, which is exclusively the pirate themed rooms, which I will have a full room tour of that put in here as well. So let's go check out Disney's Caribbean Beach Resort. We start by walking into the main lobby here. Right here is Magical Express. And then you have your different transportations. Up in the very front you'll find Bell Services and Airline Check-In is right there. We will continue walking and it is November, the end of November while we're here. So this is their display of Christmas decorations that the Caribbean Beach, which I love because it's so vibrant and fun. Walking in to the right, you have your restrooms, an ATM, a pressed penny machine. Oh, they have a fun pin trading experience going on right now. I forgot my pins. And there is a DVC station here. Right here is your gift shop. Here is grab and go. This is the quick service. Straight ahead is the doors to the pool area and Sebastian's Grill. And then right over here is check-in. We'll go that way and then come around. Just love the Christmas decorations in here. They have plenty of lounge seating in the check-in area. There's a nice little Disney movie sitting area for the kids while you're checking in. And then at these tables right here, they have charging ports across the middle of them so you can charge your devices while you're checking in or waiting for your room as well. Hi. And then, like I said, it's November, so they have all the Christmas decorations out, but this nice little sitting area with couches and chairs. And over here, another Christmas tree. We're going to walk across, go back to where we came in. This is where we came in. And start with the Calypso Trading Post. And I will just show you around the gift shop really quick. All decked out in your Christmas gear. How cute. So like I said before in my other ones, if you missed some of the items in the park, you forgot, you need to grab them. You offer a lot of the items here in the stores. More clothes and purses. The new Irondale Aqua. Look at that cute little mini one. It's so tiny. Oh, you can wear it on your belt too. How awesome is that? Only $40. You have Alex and Ani bracelets, staple Disney gift shop items, pins. They offer wine. Whole bunch of plushies. <laughs> they even offer some magic bands here and some books. Luggage because you bought too many souvenirs while you were here. <laughs> staple toiletry items, medicine if you forgot or ran out, as well as some first aid items and things like that. If you get sick, you can grab it here. Small cooler section in here with grab and go drinks. They have milk, beer, wine, lunchables. Also have their resort specific merchandise here. I started collecting pins from every resort I stay at, so I'm grabbing that. Some shirts. They offer even more pin trading behind the counter and the 
um, cast members have them around their lanyards as well. And they have Pandora charms and bracelets you can grab here. This gift shop could be trouble. Coming out of the gift shop, we're going to continue around. And this is the grab and go. We'll walk through there and then I will show you the food court. The grab and go is open from 6.30 in the morning till 12 o'clock at night. And really, it's just literally grab and go. They have donuts and croissants, breakfast bowl. They still have breakfast out right now because it's about 10.30 in the morning. Ice cream, Mickey premium bars, their bakery case, celebrating Mickey's birthday cupcakes, Mickey and Minnie. You can get some refillable mugs and some wine here. And then more grab and go things like cupcakes and sandwiches and Lunchables, parfaits, juice, pop, water, beer, wine. And then you can grab some cereal and chips over here. Coming out of the grab and go, we are in Center Town Market now. This is the quick service location for Caribbean Beach. There's actually two. There's another one in the Trinidad section. Pretty large seating area. I really like, this is actually brand new, redone, um, um, a little over, a little less than a year ago. Lots and lots of seating. We are still on breakfast right now. Here is a little snippet of what that looks like. Have your mobile order pickup over here and all of your items that you might need condiments they have a microwave and toaster for your use they have your drink station here coffee tea this resort also offers the coke freestyle machines which i think is awesome big fan coming out of center town market check-in is here front entrance is there we're gonna turn right come out this is where the Banana Cabana Pool Bar, the main pool in Sebastian's Bistro is. It's a pretty water feature. We're gonna turn left so I can show you the pool. Towels you can grab for the pool. And the pool hours are 9 a.m. to 10 p.m. With all the Disney resorts, they offer complimentary life jackets. You just bring them back when you're done. They have a kid's splash pad. It's like a pirate ship, Pirates of the Caribbean. And this pool has two water slides. There's a little kitty one, and then the larger one over here. Really love the theming. They have restrooms and lockers. More towels for you to use. And then coming around the back, we see the, here's the resort at movies, under the stars, and here are the resort activities that they have for this time right now. Hot tub is in the very back behind the main pool. We're coming back out of the pool area where we came in. Here is the main lobby. Pool's over here. We're gonna head back this way. This is the back hallway to get to the Banana Cabana and Sebastian's Bistro, which is the counter, not counter service, the table service. Here is the pool bar. Here are the hours for the bar and the lounge. Some of the drinks they have to offer. They have a steel drum light fixture that's pretty cool. Just really pretty all around. And they have TVs back there so you can watch your sports games. Over here they have some cool little round seats. And then this nice little patio area. Where you can just sit on the water, watch the Skyliners go by. 
Over there is the Riviera Resort, which will be open December 2019. We are now at Sebastian's Bistro. I don't think they're open yet, so I can't go in and show you. They're open from 5 to 10. Yep, I can't get in. But here is their menu. In case you're interested. They do take the Disney dining plan. Coming around the back, there's the boat launch for the fishing excursions they offer. Cute little lighthouse. Coming from the back patio, we walked around the back of Sebastian's Bistro. If we go in this direction, right there is, right there is the main lobby. We're gonna go in this direction now, opposite of the pool, to show you each of the areas. This is coming around the back of Centertown Market um, Dining Hall. They have outdoor seating as well. So here is the pricing on the fishing excursions I was talking about. And I guess you can rent a bicycle here too, I didn't even know that. They also offer, this is specific to this resort, I'm pretty sure, they have the Pirate Adventure Cruises. It's only for kids age 4 to 12, and then they have another one that's for kids the ages 10 to 16. So if you're an adult, you can't go on these. These are only for kids. This is our resort map, and I'm gonna just show you where we're at and where we're going. We have started here. I showed you all the pool area, the cabana, Banana Cabana, Centertown Market, gift shop. We are out here back behind it. I'm gonna show you Martinique really quickly, and then we're gonna go back we're going to see the island where there is the play area and movies under the stars. Show you a quick peek at Aruba, Jamaica. Come on, pretty mama. Just kidding. And then we're going to come back across, show you Barbados, walk by the Skyliner, and then end in Trinidad where we stayed. All right, let's go. And this whole area, that's the Riviera, which is right there. So. Also, the running trail is marked here. Do 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 do. That's a little over, a little over a half mile. We have a little purple martins birdhouse here. That's pretty cool. Now they have met Epcot Flower and Garden Festival. That's really neat. So each of the sections has their very own beach area. Some of them have the, I think some of them have the volleyball court, some of them don't. They all have um, hammocks and lounge chairs where you can just relax on the beach. We're going up to Martinique right now, give you a quick pop in and show you a couple things there. The ice and vending is located somewhere near the middle of them. And they also have for the ice machines is the Coca-Cola Freestyle, which I thought was a really cool touch. The vending machines, if you need those, those are by the laundry rooms, by the pool. So here's a version of the quiet pool. They are all basically exactly the same, so I'm not gonna th go through and show every single one of them. But they have the towels, the life vests, and back here, each of them have their own laundry room. So this is where you'll find guest, whoa, guest laundry rooms are always located next to the quiet pools. And back there you'll have your vending machines if you wanna get any quick little snacks or some pop. And they have a change machine back there as well. Oh, this is cool, look at that. They have mermaid school on Wednesday and Friday mornings. One hour prior to the pool opening, space is limited. Swim over to the concierge to reserve your spot. That's so cool. It sounds like it's free. Maybe not. Probably not. That's awesome though. Across the lake is the Aruba section. Those are standard rooms. They are 
one of the furthest away if you're in this area right here it's close to the Riviera but pretty far away from the main lobby this whole area is all beach so it probably has one of the largest beaches if you really enjoy that or that's important to you you can lay out on the beach and then right here in the center of the buildings is the where the pool is laundry facilities and vending machines one more thing i wanted to point out um using this map is the bus transportation so when you're catching one of the buses for the parks the first stop is martinique then old port royal then barbados Trinidad, Jamaica, and Aruba is last. So remember also if you're staying in the Aruba section, that is gonna be probably full buses. Or at least that's the circle that it was in November when we were here. As far as coming back from Magic Kingdom, that was the loop it did. Martinique, Port Royal, Barbados, Trinidad, Jamaica then Aruba last. So. Over this way is the playground. There's another hammock and sand lounge area. Down this way, down this way is the playground with some little cannons, a little fake grassy area where you can lay around. Just kidding, you can do that or you can watch movies under the stars here. Here is the playground, not gonna film in there, but just so you get an idea. So we're coming out of Caribbean Key right now, where the movie Under the Stars and the playgrounds are. And this is the bridge over there is Aruba. And over here is Jamaica. And this is just an overview. Their pool is right here with the laundry facilities and their beach with hammocks and lounge chairs. I don't see any beach volleyball on that one. Just past that is where the Skyliner is and we'll go show you that. We're out of Caribbean Key right here. We are going to follow back on this pathway behind the pool heading towards Barbados. You can get a better view of their beach area here. Skyliner's flying over. Very beautiful. That is Jamaica. Yet another beach area just outside of the pool area on our way to Barbados. And Barbados has a nice little sitting area with umbrellas so you can eat your lunch outside. So here is the beach section in Barbados. Right across from the beach is the quiet pool. So again, there is one of these in every section of the resort. So back there, you'll find the laundry, pool, towels, and life vests are somewhere around here. Right here, there's a split. There's a walkway up top that you have to cross the road, or you can come down this way and walk just underneath the bridge so you don't have to play Frogger and dodge things. And this is where the little smile face trolls are. So we are coming up from underneath the bridge where Barbados is and then Jamaica is, Jamaica is directly across from Barbados. You can walk over there. You can take this bridge over to the Skyliner station, which is amazing. I love that it's here. It made the stay so fantastic. So this Skyliner station is a hub. It will take you in that direction to Hollywood Studios. In, no, in that direction to Hollywood Studios. This direction to Pop Century and Art Animation. And in this direction, it goes to the Riviera and to Epcot which puts you in the back of World Showcase, the International Gateway entrance. Very awesome. I love that it's on this resort and it made it so convenient going to those parks. All right, moving on to our final section, the section where we stayed, which features the Pirate Rooms, Trinidad, on the south end of the resort. Another fact about this resort is that you see the stairway here? 
There are no elevators, so if you need a handicap accessible or you just don't want to climb stairs when you get back to your room, make sure you request a first floor room. No elevators on any building. Here is the beach area in Trinidad. Very nice, and it's overlooking this beautiful lake and all of the Skyliners flying through the trees. So relaxing. One of my favorite things about staying in Trinidad, other than the fact that they're awesome pirate rooms, is this Spyglass Grill. This section has its very own quick service location where they have the coffee and tea and soda station. Here are some of the things that they offer. It is lunchtime now, but you can get all of those. And this is their pool area for Trinidad. This is the pool area we just came out of. Right over here is a Trinidad bus stop. So they're all usually quite centrally located. I think there's two and a bus just pulled up. Now I'm gonna put it in my room tour so you can see our full pirate theme room and what to expect. We loved it, we stayed here for three nights and I found it very comfortable. Um, I have no complaints. The shower was nice, the beds were comfy, um, everything worked. Our, our light, lighted magnified mirror was, the light was out when we got there. I called and a guy came to change it about not even 10 minutes later so. Um, yeah, great customer service, very friendly. Um, I'll put the room tour in now. So we're staying in the Trinidad section. We got room 3824. I requested this room through Touring's plans because last year when we stayed here, I noticed that this room, you could step out right from your room and watch the Epcot fireworks right there on the beach. And it's right on the beach. And now we have the Disney Skyliner in the background there. You can faintly see. So we're gonna go in, we're gonna go in and I'll give you a quick tour of the pirate themed room. The only area these rooms are in is Trinidad section. So it's kind of on the south end of the resort, away from the other things, but you do have your own quick service spyglass grill in that area and your own pool. So let me show you around. Room 3824. Because it's a corner room, we have two windows air conditioning unit down here, two chairs with a small table that has a little compass theme on it. Here's a quick little overview of the room, little pirate separator and the theme. They're little pirate ships. So everybody can sleep in their own little pirate ship and get your letter from the general manager, your little souvenir. It has a little compass theme on the carpet and also the upgraded TV is very large. I don't know what that is, 55 or 60 inches. It's huge. And then there are four drawers. They're pretty deep. Lots of space. I like these a lot, actually. There's a lot of room. Everybody can have their own drawer. Over here is your coffee, ice, drink station. So they have the two cup coffee maker, a couple glasses, your Joffrey's coffee, Twainings tea. And then if you open up the barrel, you have your little mini fridge. Let's see if this one's this one doesn't feel very cold. We'll see how it does. To the right you have a shelf with three hooks and then down below it's kind of like a little bench and also another little storage space underneath. Over here in between the beds they have an older style phone but they do have can't, you can't see it that well, but they do have two USBs and four outlets next to the beds. And then the separate lighting switches and all that. And the light switch for the overhead ceiling fan, which I really like that. Going into the bathroom here. Very cool pirate theming. Hi. 
I love the lighting and the dual sinks in here, the details around the side of the mirror. Really cool. You get your body lotion, you get your body lotion and your bar soap, tissues, two sinks, and then just a lot of open space underneath to put all your toiletry items. Quite a bit of space to hang your um, clothing, a lot more than Coronado had. It was, at Coronado was probably like that much space compared to that much. Iron, ironing board, safe, extra pillow and blanket. And they have their lighted magnified mirror. Always a nice touch. Uh-oh, doesn't look like it works. And then in the bathroom, we have our full length mirror on the door. Standard toilet, all your towels, and the shower curtain has little pirate ships on it. And then your standard shower head, bathtub, and your reusable H2O shampoo, conditioner, and body wash. And two hooks behind the door. Overall, we love this resort. This is the second time we stayed here. I stayed here actually last December, so also for the holidays again, but just for one night. Um, also a pirate room then, loved it. That's why we're back. Um, if you have any questions about anything you saw in my video, please comment down below. I look and check on my comments regularly and I would love to help you out, answer any of your questions. If I don't have the answer, I will find it out for you. And thanks for watching my resort tour. If you enjoyed it, please remember to subscribe, ring that bell to be notified every time I upload a new video. If you enjoy Disney content and shopping, I'm your girl. Thanks a lot. Remember, every day is a countdown to Disney.